Hey y'all, it's Megan. Welcome back to the channel. Glad y'all are here today. Uh, we just got done moving the chickens for the day and we've been talking about this pine tree here behind me. This has been here for a very long time. It's pretty old as a white pine, right? Yeah. And well y'all, <laughs> as you can see here, every year it causes more and more shade over this garden here. And I mean, more than likely, it probably sucks a little nutrients out. Oh yeah, the bigger it gets. Draws from the garden, there. Yeah, so y'all, it's time for it to come down. It's huge, so we have moved vehicles <laughs> out of the way. We left it there because we thought it was pretty, and you know, like like she said, it's just got bigger and bigger and bigger. Of course, but um, you know, it was pretty at one time, but now it's just sort of in the way, ain't it? Yeah. We kind of hate to see it go, really, because it gives us shade in the late evening out here in the garden when we're out here working, but at the same time, it really limits the amount of sunlight all of this area has. Yeah. I've really been paying so attention big. the last couple of weeks that, all, you know, every bit of this right here will be shaded in the late evening because of that tree. So, we're going to do away with it. It's but, <laughs> but, um... I really do hate to see it go, but I understand the reasoning, and we're going to try to beautify that area anyway. So. Yeah, I think what we're going to do is um, take my chipper on the tractor and try to chip up as much of the brush as we can. And I believe we'll just blow it back on the ground right there, and we'll just use that as our mulch here. That way I don't have to fool with the dump truck and hauling okay. all that off and everything. So we'll just blow it back on the ground and kind of have it as our mulch. But, um, <clears throat> and I don't know what I'm going to do with the logs. But, uh, Tell them why you don't want to put it I'm in I'm not going to mill it. So for anybody y'all saying it's going to make a good saw log, no. I've milled white pine in the past, and I'll show you why it don't make a good saw log. Probably be firewood, maybe. So if this pine tree had been out in the woods somewhere where it was one long, tall trunk, it wouldn't be that bad. But where you've got this ring of knots here, and a ring of knots here, and a ring of knots there, Every time I've sawed lumber out of a white pine, every bit of your lumber will break where these rings of knots are. So it's it's really, it's it's no good. So uh, it'll probably be sawed up for firewood or something. I don't know. We'll be able to chip a lot of the brush except for some of these big limbs here. We'll have to saw those up too, but we'll probably just drag them off for right now to get them out of the way. But um, anyways, I guess we better get started because we ain't going to get nothing done if we don't been looking and looking and looking at this thing and it's got a natural lean that away the, the direct direction i want it to go i was going to throw a rope up in it and and pull it that way just so i'd be sure y'all i think i'm going to chance it today <laughs> we, we hope it don't go back. megan's back here shaking her head just in case you want to know <laughs> but uh yeah well that's gonna keep me from having to climb up in the thing and i'm about positive it's going that way now it's gonna be bad when it comes back this way in it that way or, or that, that way, way or that way We're, it's going that way y'all mark my word on it
It looks naked over there now. <laughs> Man. Now we got a mess. The thing about this sometimes, it'd be so much easier just to hook the tractor to it and drag it off in the pasture and be done with it instead of chipping this mess up. Man, that looks different. Your view out your kitchen window will never be the same. I know. But hopefully it's going to be better That's once we right. get done. Well, I ended up having to go get the uh, Kubota tractor with the grapple on it to drag some of these big limbs up out of the way so I could actually get to it all. So now I'm going to go through here and cut all the little limbs off that big limb, chip all those up. And some of these are just about too big to chip, so we'll be doing them the same way. But we're making progress.
put aside for right now. Kind of wish I hadn't cut those up, just left it a limb so I could take it down there to the first pile too. Well, I think that's pretty good to have that done before lunchtime, ain't it? I know. It, we actually got it done a lot faster than I anticipated. I, I kind of thought it would be an all-day job. Yeah. Look, y'all, look like I've been priming the box. I know. I done went in and scrubbed mine. So. Yeah, I know. You done got yours clean. <laughs> I got to cook Hey, lunch. if your hands ain't dirty, that's no evidence you was doing anything. They saw me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing it was on camera, ain't it? <clears throat> but it looks... I was a little nervous about how it was going to look, but it looks... I think when we do the finished product, too, what we're wanting to do there, it really is going to look good. Well, it looks amazing right now. Yeah. It's amazing how much it opened it up. My goodness. It we ain't. That, it made that spot look a whole lot bigger. It's never been sunny right here this time of day. Uh -huh. <laughs> I like it, though. Yes, yeah, so it needed to be. It needed to be done. I mean, we've been talking about it all winter, and it needed to be done a few years ago, but we just we kept want, putting it off. We didn't want to see it go. Right. But we got a pretty good pile of wood chips out of it. Real nice pile of wood chips. And that's not even the whole tree, you know, the big stuff we put in the brush pile. But it's a nice... Will them pine needles break down? Yeah, they'll eventually break down. Matter of fact, where the tree was green and then all them green pine needles, it ought to heat up and start to break down pretty quick if we weren't going to spread them out. But we're planning on using the wood chips there as mulch, but we have too many now, so I guess I'm going to have to scoop them up and take them over to our wood chip pile. But um, I can't wait for y'all to see the finished product. Of course, you're not going to get to see it in this video. Right. But um, I can't wait for y'all to see what we plan on doing here. Well, it's actually been several hours since we got done cutting that tree down. We've been busy doing other things. I had to help Daddy grind some cow feed, and we had some company come by the house, and... Well, now I have just a few minutes of spare time this evening and before we have to go meet for my daddy's birthday party. Secret birthday party, as a matter of fact. But um, I'm going to try to bust up my tater patch here. And we're going to give the new Kubota here a workout. I have no idea if it's going to pull these, these uh, what I call tilters. Some people call them chisel plows, whatever you want to call them. Uh, these are seven shanks and i'm going to try to bust up my cover crop here so it'll be ready for me to uh ready for me to run the tiller through when it does come time to plant potatoes and i always like to bust up my cover crop some just to loosen that dirt up before i run the tiller over it but um as you can see my cover crop's really not that tall anyways let me show you real quick 
And I've got some old leaves and stuff that I had scattered out here. I'm gonna work into the soil. But uh, you can see there, it's not really that tall because the deer kept it wiped out this winter. Like that thing has looked like a yard all winter long, just mowed down as low as it can mow. And now, finally, since we've had some warm weather, it started to grow a little bit, but unfortunately, it's time to tear it up. But I'm just gonna do a couple quick passes over it if this tractor will pull them. Like I said, I don't have a lot of time to play. So if it don't pull them, well, then, you know, I'm just, I guess you could say I'm done for these. I, I'm pretty excited here. I just, I really wanna see if it's gonna pull them, but I'm more excited about to finally get to use my tractor. Well, I got to say, that went way better than I thought it was going to. Ground's still a little bit wet. Y'all may have noticed right out there, it tried to bury up just a little bit, but um, my goodness, I can't believe that tried to pull them things that good. Of course, it, it helps a lot that the springs, one spring on this one's missing, and one spring on this one's missing, so it's technically only a five shank right now. <laughs> those other two ain't really doing a whole lot so um this is an old set that my grandpa had that actually used to be a nine shank and i took the two outside shanks off a long time ago and i think if i took these other two outside shanks off it would be perfect for this little tractor because this is some soft soil up here if i got in some more hard soil i don't think it would pull it but um i'm i'm i'm, I'm pleased i am very pleased with that but that'll let it dry out a little bit. And that's one thing that I always run into is I never get my spot tore up in time to kill off the cover crop. I'm always trying to work it and work it and work it and work it, trying to till that cover crop in. So now hopefully I'm ahead of the game. And when I am ready to plant potatoes, I can come up here with the tiller and chop all this up and be ready to go. But, um, Anyways, I guess me and Maggie better be getting back to the house because we're going to be late for our uh, birthday party we got to go to. Wave at her, Maggie. Say hey! Hey! <laughs> I bet y'all never guess what Megan's down here doing. Megan, the old tractor done pretty good. Did it? It did. What you doing? Nothing. Do you and Papa have fun? 
What'd y'all do? Uh, just get feed, just feed the cows and get the feed off the back of the truck. Did you get it done? Mm-hmm. He's been with Papa this evening. After we ground cow feed, um, every time he gets with Papa, he leaves with Papa, don't you? You love being with Papa, don't you? Uh -huh. So you got more than a gallon? Like there's a little more there than it normally is. That's cool. Huh? So that's cool. Is it? What are we gonna do with all this milk? Wish I had some pigs feed too. Probably wish you had more than just you to drink it too, don't you? Yeah. Well, me and the kids drink it. <laughs> it's May not be, but it kind of looks like it looks like I have a little more or less than I normally do. I mean, I don't think it's going to be like a full another half a gallon. I guess we're fixing to find out. Look at that. And the calf's still on her all the time. Ain't that something? Imagine if a calf wasn't on her, what you'd be getting. I don't know. It's kind of odd you're getting. You got more today, being that they've been put up today. So the calf's been with her all day. I would think that it would. But maybe it's eating more hay or something. I don't know. It's a little bit too young for that, well, though, ain't it? I think that their production goes up for the first, like, eight weeks. Oh, does it? I think so. Hmm. Especially if you make sure you get all the milk out. If you leave milk That's in there. That's the goal, ain't it? You got to get the milk out. You got to get all, all the milk. Because if you leave a little bit of milk, then that tells her body, like, well, the baby Can't, didn't drink all the milk. So, so I don't need to make as much. Yeah. Gotcha. That's, well, that's a gallon and a little bit. That's good. Okay. We got to ride, Clyde. All right. Well, y'all, we have got to get to this birthday party. We are running behind now at this point. But anyways, we appreciate y'all watching. And as always, leave us a comment. Be sure, be sure to say hello. We love to hear from you. And until we see y'all on the next one. Y'all have, have a good, a good one. one. See ya.